unfortunately, <laughs> OEIS complex, they haven't found anything genetic or environmental. It's, it's just something that spontaneously happens. They believe it happens at about the fourth week of development when things are closing up that for some reason it just doesn't close. Um, there's different theories. Uh, one is that, that maybe it was starting to develop twins and that's why some of the organs are split in half and that sometimes there'll be duplicate organs and things, but they really haven't confirmed that. Um, doesn't seem to be anything genetic or hereditary. There's no, it's not passed on. Um, they really just don't know with, with this condition. It's just so rare that there isn't a lot of research going on with it, but what research has been done, they haven't found a cause or anything for it. I know we're, we actually are enrolled in a few studies that they're still trying to see if they can make any kind of connection with it, but they haven't found anything yet. No, <laughs> there's, and I have a pretty large family. Um, I think I have like 52 first cousins and nobody has anything like this. There's not any any major birth defects, not anything that has really happened. Any of them, they're all healthy. I haven't really heard any because it is so rare. They're, they actually say that it's, so they say that it's one in 200,000 babies that will get this, but only one in 400,000 will survive until birth because naturally the body will, will miscarry because there's just so many things wrong. Um, it's, it hasn't increased, it hasn't decreased. It's the same throughout century. The only difference is, is that now we have better medical technology. And so it is a survivable form of birth defects now where, you know, I, I think the oldest person I know that has this condition is like 47. Um, before that, babies would just die because they didn't know how to correct all these different malformations. I actually have known a few that have passed away with this condition. Um, usually it's something to do with the bowels. They, um, they, they'll strangulate themselves or they'll get some kind of... Um, Kidney problems, their kidneys will fail, will shut down. Um, yeah, it, it's because there's so many things involved, um, it's really hard to, to have a doctor come in and, and treat everything. And so sometimes things get missed because, well, you know, I'm a specialist in urology, so I only treat u urology things. And so then they overlook another condition that that's what's really causing problems and that's usually why they end up passing away is because one department thinks that well this is what it is and they're trying to treat that and it ends up being a different condition.